So Team SCJ got a brand new NBA 2K15 discussion video for you guys. We are trying to brighten software Final Cut Pro. So trying to see how this is. I feel like the quality is going to be better and whatnot. But anyways, we're going to be talking about NBA 2K15. And this video is actually a video that I really wanted to talk about for a long time. And we're going to be talking about the NBA 2K15 ratings. But we're going to be talking about the ratings for the lower players and the importance of those ratings. In previous titles such as 2K14, 2K13, you would notice when you got a bronze player, they're pretty much useless. That bronze player is pretty much useless, his rating is very very low, and in, in that case you're obviously going to want to choose a better player. Now in 2K15, they're making this game a lot more realistic, because if you think about it, every single NBA team, they're not composed of all gold players. Am I, am I wrong? Like, that's so true. They're not composed of all straight up gold players. And that's something that they really did implement in this game, especially for my team and everything else. Basically, what they did is that they gave importance to lower level players, and I really do respect that. For example, I was playing with the Chicago Bulls, obviously, and Doug McDermott, obviously since he's a lower level rated player compared to other gold players, he still had a lot of significance and I did respect that. Basically what I'm trying to say, and this is what they implemented, is that you cannot straight up just go to my team or a game mode and have all straight up gold players and expect to win the game, because this time, a player has their special traits and their special abilities, so if you go with a straight up all gold, all gold team, but you're lacking something that a silver player might have, for example, a Kyle Korver straight up three point shooter and he has that trait, then it's not gonna work, you know, it might not work out for you. So don't be, uh, don't be scared if you have a straight up all bronze team and you think they have traits, you know, a great rebounding bronze player, a great shooting bronze player, instead of straight up all five gold players who could just straight up shoot the ball like this game is going to be so much more realistic and so much more sim style and players that you get even if they're a low rating don't don't be frightened don't think they're going to suck and don't just card them all you know straight up like that like Jabari Parker Andrew Wiggins they're going to be in the high 70s and don't just think they're going to suck they're going to have traits that make them possibly better they're going to have, they might have traits that are better than other players that are even gold you know they might have a better free throw a better three-point shooter or something like that compared to gold players so they really did give a lot of significance to these lower level players and i really did respect that man like that's seriously insane 2k15 is going to be crazy let me know in the comments down below what you guys think team stg i'm telling you this game was the craziest thing ever man i don't even want to play 2k14 anymore that's how much i love 2k15